Now, in example 1.0, 1.05, we are going to deal with our first situation that involves an OR problem. So we have license plates in Alberta. Now, in the not too distant past, personal Alberta license plates had three letters and three numbers instead of the three and four format we just discussed. So using both formats, how many possible license plate numbers are available? Well, either you have the three and three format or the three and four format. So this is a case where you need to find out how many there are for the three and three format, how many there are for the three and four format, which thankfully is a problem that we've already solved. And then we add them together because this is an or problem. So if we have our three letter, three number format, well, that's six blanks, 26 options for each of the first three, 10 for each of the next three, and these we multiply together because that is and, we need them all. That works up to 17,576,000 license plates. We know that if we had three letters and four numbers, as we came up with previously, it's actually exactly 10 times this number, 175,760,000 license plates. Now, because it's an OR problem, we add these two numbers together for a total of 193,336,000 license plate numbers. So, when just looking at these formats and at the even older two letter, three number formats and others from way back, we've got almost 200 million. So when we've got enough license plate number possibilities for every Canadian to have about five different vehicles, each with a different plate number, well, we've got enough to go around. Although we definitely don't want to deal with the carbon footprint of everyone in Canada having five cars each. <laughs>